because we have specialized seminars and it's going to run for two days that for us i realized that in the in the seminars today maybe because we are just starting we didn't have much of interaction we expect the um the offices to have more interaction that's why in the in the zoom group you see that you can unmute yourself and mute yourself back you just it's free for us to talk praise the lord hallelujah we bless the name of the lord for another Women in Ministry Conference 2022 by Daughters of Destiny Publications. Aren't you excited? It's another time to be blessed. It's another time to refresh. It's another time to re-strategize. You know, the theme for this year is another thing entirely. You know, in DODP, God is always giving us His word. His word is not scarce at all. He said, it's a margin of a new season. Can you hear that thing? A margin of a new season. My sisters, please don't miss it. Don't miss it. I want to testify to the goodness of God since I became a member of DODP, Daughters of Destiny Publications. My life has never remained the same. I attended the virtual women in ministry conference in 2020 due to COVID. And you know, it was an awesome time. Even though it was online, but believe you me, my life never remained the same. It was from that year, God started making clarity to say many things concerning the assignment that I have. Yes, we've been serving God in different capacities, but you know, a lot of clarity came in that 2020. Thanks to the Almighty God. I want to say I am grateful for being a part of that conference, that virtual Women in Ministry Conference 2020, which will start greater works. Greater works. And you know, God has been doing awesome things since that time. I cannot begin to mention here. But what I want to do is to encourage you. This year's conference, make sure you are part of it make sure you are part of it i forgot to mention the african summit the women in ministry african summit which was a two-day residential summit in nigeria oh my god you need to be there you need to be there my sister i was privileged to be part of that physically and it was from one level of revelation to another level of revelation. It was power packed. There was impartation, there was anointing, yokes were destroyed, you know, awesome presence of God. It was so, so awesome. So I want to encourage you, my dear sister. This year's old is holding in Madrid, Spain, and it's October 20 to 22nd. October 20 to 22nd. Please find your way there. And if you cannot, for any reason, make sure you connect to be part of that awesome program. And I know your life and my life will never remain the same in Jesus' name. I want us to quickly pray some prayers, even as we prepare for this conference. It's just a few days away now. Let's just begin to appreciate the Almighty God. Let's thank Him for another opportunity. Let's thank Him for another Women in Ministry Conference. Our God has been good. Our God has been kind. Our God has been wonderful. Let's give Him praise. Let's give Him honor. Let's give Him adoration. He's worthy. He's worthy of all our praises. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. The book of Isaiah 60 verse 1 says, Arise, shine, for the light is come, for the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. You know, the theme of that conference is saying, imagine of a new season. For you to imagine a new season. The scripture we read said, you must arise and you must shine. You must arise, you must shine for you to emerge. And we're going to pray that for everyone that will be a part of this conference, that Father, help us to arise. Help us to arise. Help us to arise so that we can emerge. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help us to arise, O oh God. 
Help us to arise, Lord Jesus. Help us to arise, Lord Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to arise, O God. Help us to arise, O Lord. Help us to arise so that we can emerge in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to arise, Lord. Everyone that you have ordained to be part of this conference, Lord. Daddy, help us to arise, Lord. Help us to arise according to your word. You said, arise, shine. It was a command. So for as many that are sleeping, as many that are, that, 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 that are lukewarm, as many that are cold, the Lord is saying to us at this time, arise, shine. Arise and emerge. Father, help us to arise and shine. Help us to arise and emerge as you have proposed for us, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We're still praying. That scripture said, the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. The glory of the Lord is risen upon us. We're going to pray and say, Father, let your glory, let it burst out in my life. Let the glory of God burst out over this program. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your glory burst out in my life. Let it burst out in the life of as many you have ordained to be part of this conference. Let your glory burst out over this program itself. The Women in Ministry Conference 2020, organized by Daughters of Destiny Publications. Daddy, let your glory arise over this meeting. Let your glory arise over this meeting. Let your glory arise over this meeting. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your glory arise over this meeting. So so that we can emerge, oh God, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Where's Exodus 14, 21? Talks about the east wind of the Lord. You know, when the children of Israel, when they were crossing, you know, they needed to move to their next level. They need to emerge in a new season. They were in an old season of bondage. So they wanted to move to a new season, which God has prepared for them. But the east wind of the Lord was the one that came to walk on their behalf so that there was dry ground within the Red Sea so that they can pass and move to the land that God has prepared for them. We're going to pray and say, Father, let the east wind of the Holy Ghost let it move us to our next season in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the east wind of the Lord, Father, let it move every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus, starting from DODP, starting from the convener, starting from all the speakers, starting from all the workers of DODP, starting from every member of DODP, Father, and as many that will still join. Lord, let the east wind of the Lord, let it move us to our next level. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the east wind of the Lord, let it move the ODP to its next level. As we emerge in this new season, in the mighty name of Jesus, let your east wind, let it blow over this program. Let it blow over this program. Let your east wind blow. Let your east wind blow over this program in the mighty name of Jesus. So that there can be emergence indeed. So that there can be emergence indeed. Indeed, so that there can be emergence indeed according to the theme of the program. Lord, let your east wind blow. Let it blow. Let it blow. Let your wind blow in the name of Jesus. Daddy, let your wind blow, Lord. Let your wind blow, Lord. Let your wind blow in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your wind blow in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. The book of Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 says, By the reason of the anointing, the yoke is being destroyed. The yoke is being destroyed. I'm just paraphrasing. We're going to pray and say, Father, every power that might want to work against our emergence in this program, Father, that I want to hinder this program by the reason of the anointing, let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every yoke, every hindrance, every obstruction that I want to stand against this program in whatever form, Father, Lord, let it be broken by your anointing. Let it be broken by your anointing. Let it be broken by your anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let it be broken by your anointing, Lord. Let it be broken by your anointing, Lord. In in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We're still going to pray. The theme of the conference is a margin of a new system. We're going to pray and say, Father, as we come to this conference, let a new me emerge. I want you to pray that prayer yourself. That, Father, as I attend this conference, 
Lord, every man, everyone that would attend this conference, Lord, let a new us emerge, a new one, a new person, a new person that is more organized, a new person that is more skilled, a new person that is more holy, a new person that is more prayerful, a new person that is at a higher level of conse con consecration. Father, let that person emerge. By the reason of this conference, oh God, as many that will attend this conference, let that new man, let that new man, let that new man, let it emerge. By reason of every form of better behavior, better characters, better, better accomplishments, accomplishments in the house of the Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let a new me emerge, a new me that is orderly, a new me that is skillful, a new me, oh God, that is orderly, a new me that is holy, a new me that is prayerful, a new me that studies the word consistently, a new me that fasts regularly, a new me, oh God, that is living a life of consecration, a new me that hears your instruction and obeys instantly. Let it emerge, Lord. Let it emerge, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We're still going to pray finally. I say, Father, I may not look like it. For as many, oh God, hey, Baba, <laughs> that is coming to this conference. Baba, your word says, oh God, that you use the foolish things to confirm, confirm the wise. As many that is coming to this conference that does not look like it. Father, cause your power for us to emerge above human expectation. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your power, O oh God, that transforms life, that power that causes transformation, that power that quickens our mortal bodies, let it go to work and cause us to emerge beyond human comprehension, beyond human expectations. In the mighty name of Jesus, blessed be your name, O oh God. We give you praise, we give you honor. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we are free. Everlasting King of Glory, we bless your name. We thank you because this year's conference is going to be glorious. Thank you because we will emerge. Thank you because your spirit will move over this conference. Thank you because every speaker that you have prepared, oh Lord, they will speak your mind in the mighty name of Jesus. Two. Arrival will be on the 19th and departure on the 23rd October 2022. Venue Hotel Advance Spain. Hotel Advance Spain. Hotel accommodation are available and affordable. Visa and other travel information are available on our website. Yes, you can visit our website www.wiminternational.com www.wiminternational.com Registration fee 50 euro. Yes, 50 euro. And this includes the conference materials and t-shirts. Yes, feeding 50 euro. 50 euro. For more information, visit or overcomers96 at gmail.com you may call us on plus three four six zero two three three nine six seven five one or plus three four six three one zero three zero six one one yes highlights include word ministration interactive sessions seminars worship and prayers it will surely be a new season for you.